Hello friends, welcome to Bootstrap 5 video tutorials series. In the previous video tutorials, we created a folder with the name my-website. I double click to open it. Inside my-website folder, we pasted the necessary folders required to work with Bootstrap. Then we created default.html page. I right click on it, say open with the notepad. You can see that default.html page is open in the notepad. Then we understood how to link Bootstrap to our HTML page. I minimize it. I right click on default.html page, say open with the Google Chrome. You can see that default.html page is open in the Chrome. Title is set to Bootstrap Demo. In this video tutorial, I would like to discuss Bootstrap text formatting related classes. We understand how to format text using Bootstrap text formatting related classes. First we have FW-Bold class. It is used to make text bold guys. Here in the body section, I am going to create a paragraph opening P, closing P. Inside that I put the text paragraph text. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh. You see paragraph text is displayed. I go back, copy this line of code and paste down. File, save, go to browser and refresh. One more time, paragraph text is displayed. I want to make this text bold. You can very easily do that. Here, I am going to take help of the class fw-bold. fw means font weight, font weight bold. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see the paragraph text is displayed in bold. Next we have fw-light class. It is used to make text light guys. I go back, I copy this line of code and paste down. File, save, go to browser and refresh. Paragraph text is displayed. I want to make it light. So simply I say class fw-light font weight light. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You see this text is displayed a little bit light, right? Next we have fw-normal used to convert the text from bold to normal. For example, if I say here opening at 6 tag, closing at 6 tag. Inside that I put the text heading text. File, save, go to browser and refresh. You can see heading text is displayed and we know that heading tags display the text by default bold. We can make this text normal with the help of class fw-normal. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you can see this text heading text is displayed as normal text guys. Next we have fst italic class. It is used to make text italic guys. You can see, I copy this line of code and paste down. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, paragraph text is displayed. I want to display it as italic. So I simply use the class fst-italic. fst means font style, font style italic. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you can see the paragraph text is displayed italic. Next we have FST normal used to convert the text from italic to normal guys. We know that by default EM tag that is EM means emphasize text opening EM closing EM inside that I put the paragraph text displays the text in italic guys. If I say file save go to browser and refresh you can see paragraph text is by default displayed in italic. Why? Because of the EM tag. We can convert it into normal with the help of the class fst-normal. If I say file, save, go to browser and refresh, you see the paragraph text is now converted to normal. So we can make the text bold, we can make the text light, we can convert the text from bold to normal, we can make the text italic, we can convert the text from italic to normal guys. Okay. Next we have text-decoration-underline class. It is used to make text underline guys. 
for example if i take this paragraph and paste down file save go to browser and refresh paragraph text is displayed now i want to add underline so simply we take help of the class class text dash decoration dash underline if i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see it has underlined now next we have text dash decoration dash line dash through class used to make text strike through for example i take this paragraph and paste down if i say file save go to browser and refresh paragraph text is displayed i want to strike through it so simply i take help of the class text dash decoration dash line dash t h r y u g h line through if i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see we got strike through text next we have text dash decoration dash non class used to remove any line from the text guys if i go here i am going to add an anchor tag opening a closing a and inside that i put the text hyper text and then i say here href hyperlink reference hash if i say file save put browser and refresh by default hypertext has underline you can see that because of the a tag we can remove this underline with the help of the class class text dash decoration dash none if i say file save go to browser and refresh you can see that underline is removed from the hypertext so like that you can add the underline you can remove any line from the text you can strike through the text guys next we have the mark class it is used to set the background color to a light yellow guys for example if i take the paragraph and paste down file save go to browser and refresh you can see paragraph text is displayed without any background color if i come here and use the class called as mark if i say file save go to browser and refresh it sets the background color light yellow next we have block quote and block quote footer class let's understand here i am going to create a div opening div and closing div inside that i am going to add a paragraph saying html is a structural language closing p and then i say opening p closing p write the author of html name that is tim berners lee if i say file save go to browser and refresh it displays html is a structural language and tim berners lee if i go to div and use the class called as block quote if i say file save go to browser and refresh you see the text are displayed a little bit bigger in size block quote displays the text within it little bit bigger in size and there is a block quote footer class so here i say class of block quote dash footer if i say file save go to browser and refresh you see tim berners lee text is preceded with dash 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 and it is displayed a little bit lighter also right yes block quote footer prepares the text with dash 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 and displays the text little bit lighter and smaller in size and if i use the class here mark m a r k it adds the light yellow background to div file save go to browser and refresh so we can create nice sections right so that's about the bootstrap text formatting related classes guys i suggest you people to write down these classes and remember them which are very useful later while creating responsive websites with bootstrap i strongly suggest you people to practice these things and if you like this video hit the like button and share with your friends so that everyone will get benefited in the upcoming video tutorials we are going to discuss more about bootstrap 5 For more benefits and be up to date do not forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel keep learning keep coding keep sharing thank you guys thank you very much see you in the next tutorial